He worked for 11 years on the secret hiding in this unusual house. Wow. In 1979, 66-year-old Edward T. Arsenal took up an interesting hobby. The White House keeper began collecting glass bottles after he received a special postcard from his daughter featuring a glass castle. Arsenal was so inspired by what he saw, he wanted to recreate something similar. He began collecting bottles. Family friends, his local restaurant, and community dance hall provided him with what he needed to realize his wildly creative vision. Within a short time, Arsenal had collected over 25,000 bottles. After the tedious process of washing the bottles and removing labels was completed, Arsenal began construction of his first bottle house that eventually finished in 1980. He went on to build two more over the next three years. The fantasy-like buildings have become a popular tourist attraction in Cap Edgemont, Prince Edward Island, Canada. Arsenal spent a whole winter cleaning bottles and removing labels. The first house was so popular, the community encouraged him to keep on building. The inspiration came from a postcard he received from his daughter of a glass castle in British Columbia. Different shapes and colors of the bottles were used. Arsenal would cement between 300 and 400 bottles per row. He used approximately 85 bags of cement in six months. Arsenal also loved to garden. He planted most of the trees on the property as well as the flower beds. The third house he built is a chapel. Pews and an altar are part of the construction. The light reflected at sunset gives a beautiful display of colors. A hexagon-shaped tavern. 8,000 bottles were used for this building alone. When Arsenal found a special bottle, he'd keep it for display. This glass heaven is now a tourist attraction. He built a replica of the bottle from the postcard he received. Arsenal continued construction for four years until he passed away at the age of 70.